We have just pulled up at Komodo Island in Indonesia. We're gonna try and see if we can spot some of the meanest, scariest animals on Earth today, the Komodo dragon. These insane creatures only live mainly on two large islands in this part of Indonesia. So this is the only place in the world that you can go and see these animals. I'm a little concerned because I have a slight cut on my leg and these things can smell blood very, very far away. So I'm hoping that the rangers are going to allow me to enter. Now it is worth mentioning that you can get good 4G signal here in case of emergencies. This bad boy, that is what we're here to see today. They can grow up to three meters long, weigh like 300 pounds, I think. Can easily take down a human or even a larger animal like a cow or a buffalo. Those deer that are all over this island are one of its favorite meals. Now, because these animals are so dangerous, you're required to hire a local ranger to take you around the park and see if you can see one. They have a long two-pronged stick that they use to keep the animals at bay in case they charge. So this tool right here is what stands between us and certain death. Two meters long and always has two points at the end. Yeah, that's it. No guns, no knives, a stick. It looks like a good stick. It's a small one compared to the green, huh? In Komodo, besides the Komodo dragon, deer, pig, buffalo, but I'm not guaranteed to see them, even you are lucky. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so they have quite a few options here. The main ones are the short track, the medium track, and the long track. The long track is closed. Obviously, the longer the track, the higher chance you can see one. So the longest one we have been offered today is the 2.5 kilometer medium track, which is not the best, but let's hope we see some. Come on. The forest is quite overgrown with brush. Makes it pretty hard to see more than I don't know, 30 meters. I feel like one could be hiding anywhere. Oh, here comes a guide who's coming out of the forest. Maybe he can tell us if they saw anything. Okay, we we go. But this is the small one? Okay. Small one. Okay, so we received word of a sighting of a smallish one, about five feet long. The small juvenile has already moved on. We can't find him. So we are going to go to the medium track now. Komodo like tourists. Why Komodo like tourists? Tourist big baby. <laughs> Sorry, I'm joking. <laughs> We're now emerging from the forest up a grassy hill. What's that? It's the dragon poop. Dragon poop. Why is it white? Wow. Because white. it's uh, urea. I check uh, the hill, yeah? Okay. Hmm, okay. Well, the guide has just left us alone to go scout the hill, and he took the stick with him. I'm not sure how to feel about this. Shh. He signaled to us to come up. That is the hole up there. He's in there. A massive tail. Okay, that's a leg. So he's napping. Yeah, he's staying in the shade because too hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not like hot. All right, well, that's better than nothing. No, no, I think I wonder if they sleep here sometimes. I honestly wonder if that's just a fake tail and that's what they show people if they can't find a real one. <laughs> so some dragon butt, huh? Dragon butts drive me nuts. Okay, now we're transitioning out of the grassland back into some trees. In a last ditch attempt to see a dragon, our guide is taking us down the beach. Every single person we've talked to today, at best they've seen one small one. No reports of any adults. Now, unfortunately, there's quite a lot of garbage over here. OK, 
Okay, looks like we got a whole hoop herd of tourists up here, so maybe they have one cornered. Oh shoot, yes, there we go. So we found this little guy here. So now the guide is shaking around this red gas can to get the Komodo to look that way. There's specifically a sign telling you not to do this, to take a picture with the dragon. But the guide himself is the one who recommended it. Maybe it's me. Now we know he's alive at least. Being so close to this animal was much scarier than it looks. These guys can jump right on you if they really feel like it. I think she can smell me. Alright, our guide has just spotted a larger one down the beach. Looks like it's back past the tourist stalls. Same sort of thing, photo op. Doesn't look very aggressive. Thank you, sir, very much. Yeah. All in all, that was about two and a half hours here. What do you guys think? Does that seem worth it? I'm a bit conflicted myself. I think if you're expecting a wild safari type adventure here, you're gonna be very disappointed. But if you just wanna see some of these really beautiful dragons and get a selfie or two, it could be a pretty cool experience. Of course, you could do that at a zoo also. I don't know if we just came the wrong time of year, wrong time of day. I know it's mating season right now and it's really hot in the middle of the day. So maybe it's our fault. I think for me, I was hoping for more of them and a little more wild. Leave a comment down below. I'd, I'd love to know what you guys think.